Well, then there's a grocery bag back in there. Which I'll grab and get out. I wonder how in the world that got in there. I do not see evidence of mice. I thought for sure this cavity was where they were housing. Because it's the run in between the two places where I see them. So it's not. So, um, you can really see some uh, stuff I did to kind of put a conclusion to the mouse capades happening around here. So, uh, I don't know, about two months ago, I think it was, roughly, um, or shortly after end of hunting season. So, that'd be right, about two months ago. Notice that there uh, was some mouse activity in the camper. And so, did a variety of things. Um, and... I, the, I think one of the first things I did um, was inspect the camper to try to figure out where the mice were getting at. So I crawled the whole bottom, checked every inlet, um, and was really impressed. I found the bottom of the trailer to have no areas of compromise. Every inlet um, had great stuff around it, um, expanding foam, and it was all solid. Um, no gaps, so it all looked good. I, um, I then started checking some other places. I found two things that I'm guessing that's where the mice got in. And I'm very confident. One, where the electric line goes into the camper, there's a little cover that comes down and, and actually surrounds the line. Um, it's cut out for the size of the line. And um, that wasn't down. So a mouse could easily climb up the electric line and into the cavity. And once in there, it could go pretty much anywhere within because the, um, there's no ceiling inside the camper from one cavity to the other. Um, there's just cutouts, you know, for where utilities are run, but they're larger than the utilities. So a mouse could easily move along the pipes, which is where I believe the mouse mice were working, was along the pipes inside. The other was um, the uh, uh, room expansion um, in the back um, wasn't sealed up. It hadn't been closed all the way. So uh, um, closed, well, I guess opened all the way would be the right words. It wasn't sealed. So I opened it completely, got the wall closed around it, you know, sealed around it. And then I still went back and stuffed dryer sheets everywhere. There was a gap that I could fit them. So I think I got all that sealed. And then I put traps out and waited. And so I trapped for several weeks. Uh, first time I trapped, I put out four traps, got three mice. Second time, same thing, four traps, three mice. Last time, um, it was five traps, one mouse. I decided at that point to come ready to do um, the final closing up of the holes and gaps and stuff. And so I put out uh, five more traps. I came back and there was none. So no mice. So kind of an indicator that there wasn't a lot of as much mouse activity. Uh, of course, it could obviously have moved somewhere else, but they seem to really be confined to this one area. So it would make sense to me. But um, anyways, so I bought some expanding foam, more dryer sheets, and cinnamon sticks. And so the strategy was every drawer I'd put cinnamon sticks in in every cabinet and so I did that so those are laid out mice do not like the smell of cinnamon and they do not like dryer sheets so two things to help keep them away the other thing I did was I and you'll see um, I had aluminum screening a metal screen and so I used the screening on areas I was able to get staples up on top, up here, up in here, back there, and up along here. So it's stapled pretty well. I use dryer sheets on areas. So that coupled with the 
3.2 million dryer sheets I put down here. I got a bunch of dryer sheets. I'm just going to stuff all around in here. And why dryer sheets? Mice do not like the dryer sheets. It's large gap foam filler. Large gap foam filler. So it worked pretty good. Got my gaps filled. get every gap closed up and so that's what that's what the strategy was and hopefully it works i think it will i'm i'm fairly confident it will so anyways this kind of includes a, i want to put a conclusion to the the mouse i kind of opened it i did open it in a, a little bit in a couple videos i never really focused on it but if you have a camper out in the wilderness you're going to get mice and so there are steps to to do to help control it and um and that's kind of what I went through. So, yeah, anyways, I thought I'd share it. And I'll keep you updated if I see mice, if my stuff didn't work, which is quite possible. Um, I'll keep you posted. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, hope this is helpful. Um, yeah, I mean, you're out in the country, in the woods. You're going to get, you know, the creatures that come around. So it's just dealing with it. And this is what I did. And uh, anyways, make kindness your business. Treat your fellow man as uh, kind as you would like to be treated. And uh, try to share some kindness. Do something off the cuff, just out of the blue, and see what happens. All right, Dave out.